Hey guys, welcome back. On today's episode, we're going to continue building our admin panel. On the previous episode, we built this user's uh, index page for our admin panel. And today we are going to do the exact same thing, but for our ideas and then after that for our comments. Now the process is going to be kind of similar or almost identical to the previous episode. So this video is going to be a bit shorter. I'm not going to be explaining things as in depth as I did on the previous episode. So if you have, if you haven't watched the previous episode, I do recommend you guys do that. It's going to help you out follow along a bit easier, at least on this episode and then also for the next episode. So let's get right into it. Now, as always, I always prefer to start from the route files and then the controllers and then the view files. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and since we already have the code for our routes, we set this up on the previous episode, I'm going to go ahead and copy our user's route. And all we have to do is basically convert everything to ideas. So I'm going to convert this to ideas. Uh, the index is going to stay the same because it is going to be our index page. And then for the name, I'm going to name it ideas. Now, one more thing we could do is if you guys remember, uh, I showed you guys we had an episode on resor resourceful routes. Basically, we are already using it for our kind of user facing pages. We could do the exact same thing for our admin side as well. So I'll leave it to you guys to decide whether you want to use these resource routes or not. Now, since we are already using it for our kind of user facing pages, I'm going to also use it for our admin panel. And also the code is a bit shorter. So, so uh, if you prefer to use it, you can also go ahead and do that on the admin side as well. So that's what I'm going to do. Actually, guys, I'm going to copy the code we have for our users. Let me scroll down. So first, I'm going to go ahead and replace our users page. So we know exactly how to do it. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll paste this in here. And instead of manual defining the get, we just do resource, resource and then what resource we have, our controller, which is going to be admin user controller. And then after that, we need to tell it kind of which pages we want, because if we don't do that, it's going to create it for show, edit, create basically all the resource pages that kind of usually comes with Laravel. So in this case, we only need it for index. Okay. And if I save this, let me comment this out and we reload. Everything should work like it did before. Now it is giving us an error that admin uh, users is not defined. And that's probably because I made a mistake with the naming. This should actually be users index. And I think I forgot to do that on the previous episode. So let's go ahead and update our sidebar. I think it's called sidebar. Let's go ahead and find the admin version. Yeah, I forgot the index on our route. So at least since we did that, we found out that I forgot to do it. So now it's going to be consistent with all the pages we have made. All right, so let's go ahead and do the exact same thing for the ideas as well. I'm going to go ahead and use the kind of this resource route. And let's change this users to ideas. And for the pages, I'm also going to only create it for the index. Now for the controller, we don't have it. So let's go ahead and create the controller. Now I'm going to open up the terminal. And let's go ahead and type it in PHP art send make controller. Now since we are obviously creating this for our admin panel, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pass the admin directory first. So I'm going to say admin slash idea controller. Let's hit enter. And that should do it. So let's, now that we have it, I'm can, I can go ahead and import it here. Let's do idea controller. Now, since we, we have another idea controller, so we have two idea controllers, make sure you select the one that is from the admin namespace. So I'm going to go ahead and click uh, select that. Now on VS Code, because I already have PHP IntelliFence installed as a plugin, it automatically kind of detects, hey, we have two ideas, the same thing basically uh, that we had on the previous episode. So it added this admin prefix before my controller. So make sure you have that so it doesn't conflict with the regular idea controller that we had, okay, for our user sites. And last but not least, yeah, this one is also indexed, so we don't need to change anything. Okay, pretty good. Let's go ahead and open up our controller next. And this code is going to be exactly identical to what we had for the user's controller. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy it from there, guys. It's going to save us some time. I'm going to copy it from user controller and uh, paste it in inside our idea controller. Of course, we need to make some adjustments. So since in this page we are displaying all the ideas, we need to go ahead and change from this user model to the idea model and also change the variable names to ideas. This compact is going to be ideas. And also for the route file, sorry, for the view file, we also need to change the directory here to ideas. Okay, uh, that's it. 
Now, of, of course, this view file does not exist. So the next step for us is to go ahead and create this view file. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, guys. Let's open up our views. Let's go under admin. And inside here, we already have one for users. Let's go ahead and create a new directory for ideas. And inside here, we need index.blade.php. Uh, very nice. Okay. Now for the view content inside of it, this is of course going to be almost identical to users. So we can just go ahead and copy it from there. So let's move let me go ahead and copy it and paste it here. Of course, we're going to go ahead and you know remove all the things we don't need. So the layout is going to be the exact same. The title. Now the title, uh, we can keep it as admin dashboard, but I think one thing we forgot to do on the previous episode, let's go ahead and do ideas and then something like that admin dashboard okay it's up to you guys what you add for the title so for now just put some you know default here and while we're at it let's also change the title for the idea for the users section because i forgot to do that on the previous episode so we can do say users and then admin dashboard okay and then up here this users should be ideas now what about the table itself for now i'll comment it out okay or i'll just comment it out and let's also comment this PHP code or what we can do is actually let's just directly change this to idea so this one should be ideas this one should be ideas and then this user should be idea now since our idea model doesn't have all of these I will comment this for now I'll come back to it in a minute guys okay I just want to make sure that the page is rendering then I will go ahead and update uh, this table okay so now that we have this idea index page set up we actually need to add it to the sidebar because right now I don't have a way of actually viewing the page unless I manually kind of load the URL. So let's go ahead and add it to the sidebar so we can actually open it up. I already have the sidebar opened, so I'll just open up and make sure you have your uh, admin sidebar, not the user sidebar. So let's copy the link HTML. I'll pa paste it over here. And for the routes, uh, I'll just need to change these users to ideas. And of course, also change the link name from uh, users to ideas very basic stuff we are basically just copying the work we did on the previous episode and then changing it up to ideas and let's also move this a tag to a new line it's kind of annoying me all right perfect so let's save this let's reload now i'm going to click on the ideas page we don't have any error messages but you can see obviously see the table is empty even though we have three pages and that's very likely because we our table is kind of we commented it out okay now for our ideas if i go ahead and i open up our idea model we have a user id and then we have this content okay now we can go ahead and only display the user as well as well the content of the idea that's basically all they can do and maybe the date it was created at okay so let's go ahead and do that real quick so i'm gonna say id let's say content and then Let's also include, I guess, the user. I'll move it before content. And instead of joined at, I'm going to go ahead and name it created at, okay? And that's it. So let's go ahead and also uncomment these. So the first one is going to be the ID. So it's going to be idea ID. Next up is going to be the user. So I'm going to say idea user and then name. Now, this is obviously has to match your relationship. So if I open up our idea model, we have this user relationships so of you're directly accessing this now we also have this width so we are automatically eager loading these so we don't even need to worry about eager loading inside our controller it's already automatically done for us so that's also very nice and then last but not least we have the content so let's go ahead and do that and let me double check yep that's content and the last part is going to be the date con created at which we already have it's exactly identical to our uh, users page and the last section, which is the actions, is the links to the edit and view page. And this one is also going to be the same. We just need to go ahead and change these users to ideas. This one also to ideas. And this to idea. This one also idea. And that should be it, guys. I don't think we need to change anything else. And the code should work unless we made a mistake somewhere, but we will figure it out right now. So let's do a reload. And as you guys can see, things are indeed working. Okay, so... We have all our ideas here. I can go ahead and use the pagination links to view them all. Let's also check these links work. So I'm going to click on view and let's see if you're able to view this 
ID, as you guys can see, it is indeed visible. And if I click on the edit page, we are also able to edit it. Of course, this is redirecting us to the user pages, but uh, we do have the proper policies for this. So this one is indeed authorized. Only the admin can edit these. So we don't need to worry about the security as well. But we can also, again, go ahead and double check our idea policy. As you can see for an update and deletion, we are checking if the user is an admin or if it's the owner of the idea. So we don't need to update this anymore as well. We got, we got that cover already. Okay, pretty good guys, that's it. Uh, for today's episode, a very quick and easy episode. On the next episode, uh, I'm going to do the exact same thing for comments. But for comments, I'm also going to add the option to delete them. Okay, now the reason I'm going to do that is probably maybe if you want to, let's say, remove some offensive comments or spam. So we can go ahead and add the delete functionality for that. But that's it for today's episode, guys. Very basic stuff, very simple. Uh, you can definitely go ahead and do that for other things on your pages. So if you have, you added some ed additional uh models you can go ahead and also add the admin page for those as well for us we only have three main models you know users idea and comments so there is not much for us to do but if you want it you can definitely go ahead and even show let's say the followers for a specific user or anything else on your admin panel as well all right guys hope you enjoyed today's episode if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section below and i see you guys on the next video have a great day bye